Hello and welcome to Old Ways Gardening and Prepping. My name is Teresa. I'd like to welcome you on another adventure. I'm at the beautiful Botanic Garden and I have been blessed to be able to harvest from a very important plant. Let me bring you closer. Extremely important female herb. This is chase tree, also known as vitex, also known as monk pepper. There's a reason behind the monk pepper. Uh, extremely wonderful for uh, helping with hormone balance as well as regulating menstrual cycles. Uh, cramp reliever, bloat reliever, uh, helps women going into menopause with hot flashes. It has been studied that it also helps with memory loss when you start going into menopause. Now, what I will be doing is harvesting these beautiful berries. Monk berries. The reason why it's called monk berries is back in the day this was uh it has become naturalized in america but or well, north america it was more grown in greece your middle east and through asia the reason it's called monk berries or monk pepper is they would dry the berries grind it up use it as uh, pepper because it does have a peppery taste and it also, since it's a female herb, would, well, kill their libido and, uh, yeah, would take away any sexual desires for men. So be careful, men, if you use this. Now, I will go into more detail once I get it back home and uh, talk more about it. And I'm going to use a glove. I'm going to show you two ways that I'm going to harvest it. And you want a good clean bucket or bath. Well, solid. You want a solid container. I got a big old five-gallon bucket. And what you're going to do is grab it with one hand. Strip it with the other. Now, since I'm at the Botanic Garden... And everything has to look nice and neat. I'm going to just go on and trim the heads off so it looks nice and neat. And I will strip the berries when I get home. So, I have a whole lot of harvesting to do. They can get huge. They can get up to over 15 feet tall. Hopefully, the sun will work with me. See, this is the base of it, and it goes all the way up there, and unfortunately, I can't get to those. If I had a cherry picker, I would be up there harvesting them. Now, I will bring you back once I get home, and we'll discuss more. I'll see y'all later on. Well, I'm trying my hand that don't have a glove. Okay, we made it back home. We were blessed with one and a half five gallon buckets of the Vitex berries. Now, granted, if it's your plant, your tree at the house or on your property, you want to strip it off the tree like that and leave it on the, leave the berries on the tree. You just grip the stem and pull them right off and they'll break up now since the next few days are going to be raining like crazy and uh, not good and dry I'm going to take these once I get them all cleaned I'm going to take them and put them in the dehydrator for about maybe five six hours or so you want to dry them out a little bit 
Now if I have, uh, which I know I'm going to have a big ex excess of them, I'm going to go on and let them dry, let those dry in the dehydrator so I can store them. But, yep, you just hold the, you don't want to get any leaves, you're just going for the, the berries. You just strip them right off. And they come off fairly easy. And you want to make sure that it's that the berries have fully formed. And hope you can see it. I know we're running out of light, but you want the berries fully formed. Make sure that they look like little peppercorns is what you're looking for. If they're really small and tiny, you do not want to harvest them because they're not ready. And I'm going to, we're fixing to get busy stripping these uh, stalks of all the little pepper berries or bitex berries. And I will bring you back when we get all the job done and we're at the shed of many names and I will see y'all later oh y'all should smell oh the aroma is amazing if the flowers don't smell so wonderful which they do and they the pollinators absolutely love the flowers it's, it's a beautiful sight next a uh, year when they bloom I'll make a video so y'all can see it but they have a it's hard to explain it's a slight peppery but it has kind of like hints of juniper as well it's its own scent and it's just absolutely wonderful and I will bring you back once I'm in the shed get with the dehydrators ready. I'll see y'all later on. Okay, I have finally finished cleaning all of the Vitex berries. Chase tree berries, monk berries, monk pepper, whichever way you want to call it. And we have over half of a five gallon bucket full. We started with one and a half five gallon buckets and we're down to just half, a little over, about two thirds of this uh, five gallon bucket. It's wonderful. It's a wonderful blessing. Now, I'm not going to completely dehydrate these this batch of berries. Or yeah, berries. I just want to knock some of the moisture out of it. These are not, this batch for the first tincture is not going to be dehydrated. Now, it's just going to have some of the moisture knocked out of them. Now, I will tell you this is one of a few plants that, yes, the tincture is perfectly fine using dried material as well because a lot of people order the berries and get them dry like i said i just want to knock some of the moisture out and i gotta stand up for this one this is gonna be walled so let me get things moved around so y'all can see put those up there for now Okay, this is my airflow dehydrator. And I'm going to put a canning jar lid in the center so that they do not fall through as I load, load the tray. Now, 
if I could, I would be drying them out in the sun, letting them air dry. But, yeah, that's not happening here. No time soon. The humidity is massively up. And there hasn't been a whole lot of sunshine shining, so. And I'm not going to load my trays real heavy. I only have enough alcohol to make one batch, so. I'm going to get three trays done. Now, like I said, this is a wonderful, wonderful female herb. Now, one downfall of it. If you are on, uh, well, there's two downfalls. If you are already on, um, like estrogen based contraceptives <laughs> you do not want to take this tincture you need to be careful while taking this tincture because it will boost up your estrogen to, uh, to stabilize your uh, periods your cycles to make them regular to take away cramps and also you need to be very careful if you have uh, a, the form of cancer that uh, is estrogen you know estrogen boosted up so be careful with that as well And of course, I'll have, for those who do not pay attention, for when I do my videos, I always put information in the description box below. Medicinal information. Now, granted, I do not always put all the information in because... Well, I want y'all to do your own research as well. We are now living in a society that thinks all information and everything should be handed to them. Just here. All the years and work I've studied and done here, I don't want you to have to do. No, that's the farthest from the truth with me. Get motivated. Do your own research. That's why I don't put everything in the description box. You do not learn things if you just have them handed to you. If you do the research as well. Now, I do put most, most, not all, of the important information in the description box below the video. I'm not going to put all of it because I expect people to do their own research. Make sure that it's the right medicine for you. Just because it's right for somebody else doesn't mean it's going to be right for everyone. Okay, that should be plenty enough. Let me put just a little bit more in this one. I'll take smell. They get stronger. They smell so much stronger. You see, and that's exactly why I say use the lid, which I'll be getting at here in a minute. Alright, I'm going to let this run for about four hours. I don't want it too long, so 
I just want to knock some of the moisture out of it. And I will bring you back once it's ready to do the tincture. And I'll see y'all here in a little bit. Okay, welcome back. They have dried for a little over four hours. They're not dried. Just some of the moisture was took out. Because they were real moist and I don't want these to mold at all. So, let's... And I have had the dehydrator cut off. So, they have acclimated back to regular temperature. I'm not going to clean my trays extremely well because I'm going to dehydrate all the other ones overnight because I do want them dry. Love these silicone mats. They come in handy so much. I'm gonna have more than enough to make one half gallon batch. A beautiful Bitex tincture. Alright, I'm going to get my countertop clean. Because like I said, everything needs to be sanitized. I'm going to get my countertop clean. Get my clean jar ready. Get the alcohol ready. And I will bring you right back. And we're going to make a half a gallon of Bitex tincture. Okay, I have all my supplies finally up. And everything's clean. Now, you can use a pint jar. You can use a quart jar. Or, like I always have to, make big batches. I use a half a gallon jar. Now, if you wanted to, you can go as big as a, like a gallon pickle jar. As long as it's very clean and sanitized. All right, so we're going to take our half gallon jar, and it's always best to use the funnels. I'm going to go just a hair under half because these berries will swell back up. So that's about one and two thirds cups. And now, even though I have dried them out some. They are still green. So, well not green, they're not dry. So, still use 100 proof vodka. 50% alcohol, 50% water. It makes a perfect balance tincture. Now, if you're using the dried Bitex berries, you can get away with 80 proof vodka. That's only if they are dry. If they're fresh like mine and only a little bit of the moisture was took out, 100 proof. 
and I already took the uh, poor control thing out because yeah, me and that thing fight. I'm going to stop it here because you can see that they're all combined together and I'm fixing to make that little party stop and like I said they will swell back up once they get once they start soaking in the alcohol. And you want to get it as full as possible because it keeps the least amount of air out. Always fill your jar up as close to the rim as possible. Because the least amount of air means less, less amount of oxidation. You want to make sure you get any air pockets out. already taken on a really pretty color now this is one you're going to have to keep your eyes on I'm going to give it a couple of days because I know the alcohol level is going to go down in the jar and I will just keep topping it off until these berries are done soaking in the alcohol and then that way later on they can release the alcohol. Now you're definitely going to want to agitate it every day or so because you want to make sure that all those berries are getting soaked in alcohol. This is one of those that you have to keep an eye on and make sure because watch them poop right back up to the top don't worry about any of this floating around that's perfectly fine and normal because after eight weeks not before eight weeks after eight weeks it can be eight on the exact eight week day it can be three months later four months later whenever you need it strain it out because you're not going to be able to get a dropper down in here without getting some of the sediment out or the berries now after eight weeks i will bring you back and we will strain it can i guarantee you it'll be on the exact eight week mark no but I can guarantee it's going to be after eight weeks. Or at least or after eight weeks. Now, here's the important part. You always want to have a Sharpie marker on your lid. You're going to write Vitex Tincture. And we made it on 9-11-22. Eight weeks. From this day is when this tincture will be ready. Not before, but after. Now, of course, I'll have more medicinal information in the description box below this video. And every single video I make, there is information about something in the description box 
if it's a tincture, the medicinal benefits. If it's a cooking video, it's the recipe and comments and other things. Simple, easy, as long as you have the, all these ingredients, which it's just two ingredients, you can make a very good feminine tonic. Men, you can take it, but, yeah, and, no, yeah, it's about as bad, well, uh, it's same as taking saltpeter, and you, you don't want to take that either, unless you just, you know, have to, but, yeah, simple, easy, anyone can make a tincture, 100 proof vodka, Bitex berries, and that's it in a jar with a good lid and a band. I hope you've enjoyed this video and that it encourages you as well to make your own medicine. You don't have to be stuck taking big pharma, heal thyself, and actually heal thyself. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comment section below. I will answer them as soon as possible. I'm fixing to crank up the two dehydrators and get make a big dent in the Vitex berries. Get them dried so I can get them stored up for future use. Everyone, take care. Stay safe and sound. Keep working on your own medicine cabinet. Stock your pantries with as much food as you can. Stay safe and sound. I'll see you soon. Everyone take care and may you each be blessed.